love. <laughs> and y'all probably know this person is stubborn, but y'all unbothered. Y'all in some type of unbothered ass energy, and whoever this person is that's calling out your name when they get lonely, they hate that shit. <laughs> they hate that shit. What is the message? What are we discussing today? What are we discussing today? Child. They need your mercy and grace and forgiveness. Mm. So, I don't know. Something is going on between you and somebody. Y'all probably not with this person again because they calling your name when they get lonely. So, y'all not together. But this person wants your forgiveness. They may want your forgiveness because they could have stopped fucking with you. And why did they stop fucking with you? Because their mama didn't like you and they want y'all together. So, some of y'all dealing with somebody who mama did not like you and did not want y'all together. I'm sure y'all give no fucks. You know what I'm saying? Because... <clears throat> You're part of my soul tribe. And I know I'm a person who don't give no fucks. I don't care if your mama don't fucking like me. The bitch ain't got to see me. And I ain't got to see her. We ain't got to be fucking friends. But, your person, your person, for some of y'all, y'all person chose to leave y'all because of their mama. Now, if that's not your situation, then leave it, okay? But this been coming out a lot lately. And they could have chose somebody else. They could have chose somebody that their mama did like. Guess what? This person regret that shit. They regret listening to their mama. They regret choosing this other lover over you. They just regret it because they lonely. Even if they are with somebody. Somebody that their mama wanted them with. Look. <clears throat> that they, if their mama chose the, the wrong person for them. Yeah. Because whoever this person is, their mama liked. Was catfishing their ass the whole motherfucking time. They was fake as fuck to this mama. So they probably was kissing this mama ass, do, giving this mama money and shit. And y'all just wasn't going to do that. Not saying you probably had an issue. You probably didn't even know the damn mama didn't like you. For some of y'all, y'all didn't even know the mama didn't like you. And we're going to see why this mama didn't like you. Because again, it has been coming out a lot. But your person chose somebody else over you collective. And it was because they mama wanted them to choose that person. They mama wanted them to choose somebody that they didn't even fucking know. You hear me? They thought they knew that other person. So they chose to look like, maybe love, because I was going to say love. They chose to like or love that other person collective. And they convinced your person to choose that person over you. And I don't, again, I, but a miracle is about to happen for you. I don't know what the, what's about to happen. But but your person wants your forgiveness. They they want your forgiveness for listening to their motherfucking mama for one. And then they want your forgiveness for choosing somebody else over you. So they calling your name trying to manifest you. Trying to ease the motherfucking pain. Hoping that you will telepathically hear them. <laughs> That's what's going on. What else, dear? Baby. Better quit fucking playing. Ten of swords energy. Yeah. Yeah. That's what they get. Person is in a lot of fucking pain. And look, and when they call your name, it eases the pain. Child. <laughs> it's you. They want you. <coughs> this person is in a ten of swords ass energy. Going through a horrible, painful ending and realization. And I don't know what that is. But they need and want your attention. Please unblock me. And some of y'all be, you know, y'all say, I don't have this person blocked. Okay, well, common sense, that wasn't for you. But if you don't have them blocked, like, physically or literally, it could be spiritually, energetically. You know what I'm saying? This person just feel like they don't have a way in, like, with you. So they, they need and want your attention. This person wants you to fucking unblock them. But I feel like whoever this person is, they Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Mother, motherfucking Hyde with the bipolar or living a double life. This is somebody who pretend to be one way, but when they're away from you, they another way. Like, it don't make sense. It don't make sense. That's why they're going through this Ten of Swords ass energy. Want your motherfucking forgiveness for listening. I wonder what this person tell you, though. That they mama didn't like you and what it was that your mo they mama didn't like about you. I wonder what they do then. I'm going to ask that too. But this is going to be an interesting read. Because <laughs> I want to know why the mama didn't like you. <clears throat> and that forced this person to choose somebody else over you because they mama didn't like you. But now they're going through this ten of swords. <laughs> There's a ending taking place. 
child, it never, it never fails. It never fucking fails. <laughs> it never fucking fails. We are always talking about whoever this water sign is. It's a Cancer Scorpio or Pisces, and no, it's not. You could be a, I mean, you could be a Cancer Scorpio or Pisces, and this could be your situation. But my spirit guide said this is the person that you're dealing with. They have to. They are a Cancer Scorpio or Pisces. This person chose somebody else over you because they were listening to their motherfucking mama. Now they're going through a painful ass ending, wanting your motherfucking forgiveness. Look, feeling bad for all the motherfucking wrong that they caused you and that they did to you because of their motherfucking mammy. You hear me? Ooh. Yeah, this why. This why. Because the karma that they are getting is causing suicidal thoughts in your person. Yeah. Some of y'all person just want to end it all. And I mean, you know what I'm saying? If you know, you don't want that for your person, just send them a little love and light or whatever. But karma's real. This person is reaping what they sowed because I feel like at some point during this situation, y'all were in the ten of swords energy. And you may not be in that energy anymore. But the, but this Cancer Scorpio or this Pisces is. And if they not if that's not their sun sign, it could be their moon, they rising, they Venus, or their North Node. But yeah, but they getting karma. <laughs> yeah. Look. Look, didn't I tell you this person calling out your name trying to manifest you? <laughs> Child, this person is getting karma and they are trying to manifest you back into their motherfucking life. Maybe they feel like, well, they know that, you know, God is the only person they can probably fix it or whatever high power they believe in, if they believe. They know that that person is the only person that can fix it, but they feel like if they could just get you back, everything would just go back to however it was for them in their life. I feel like when this person dealt with you, things were good. Like, it was peaceful. It was, it was joy it was happiness but because they mama didn't like you they chose for a lot of y'all the only reason you're not with your person is because of their mama nothing more nothing less and then they chose somebody else over you so they feel stupid <laughs> bitch quit playing with me quit playing with me you heard me I hate it here. <laughs> it's too early, collective. It's too early. My spirit guy said it ain't never too motherfucking early to know the truth about the person that did you dirty. Yeah, because some of y'all, that's what y'all want to know. Y'all feel like this person is somewhere just living their best life, having fun, you know, kicking it, rolling over, you know, going to sleep with their person, wrapped up in their arms and shit like mm 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 No. I ain't letting that person touch them. You hear me? Because they hate it there. <laughs> hate it here like a damn kid. I don't want to be at this bitch though. <laughs> mm -hmm. They'll never be switch. Because this person don't fucking compare to you. Because they don't compare to you. And they'll never be. Be a better love. Said they'll never be. Be a better love. Chat what? Mm. Hey. La 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 la. Hey. Lo Look at this shit under the bottom of the day. Karmic is in despair. About to lose everything. Baby, yeah. See, I told you. They was making this mama think that they had it. They had money. They had resources. They, I don't know what it was. I guess that's what it was, she. Because I'm saying it. Y'all know my spirit guys just be talking. Talking. You know what I'm saying? But... They made this mama feel like they had that they was gonna get a son or their daughter the world. So they made your person choose this other person and that your person actually hated there. Not only is your person going through the ten of swords energy, baby, but the karmic is too. Because they know they about to lose every motherfucking thing. They about to lose it all. Look, and you have made this person a motherfucking believer. Oh yeah. Hmm. Some of y'all told this person that this would happen. If they was going to find out the truth and they was going to want to come back and it was going to be too motherfucking late probably. Oh no, but baby, this story is juicy. I don't even want to put the cords down. <laughs> Look at this. I don't even want to put the cords down, y'all. Look at this. Look at this, y'all.
look, it. okay, let me love you down. Y'all, I'm watching Bones. I love Bones. Any type of show where you learning shit or they talking about you. Anyway, I just got, your person is distracted. Your person is trying to distract themselves, and I don't know. Yeah, but I don't think it's working. Look, this person is like, please accept my apologies. How can I make it up to you? This person won't make it up to you because they are fucking miserable. Look, the marriage is over. So if your person was in another relationship, yeah, that's that's done. That's done. They've been coming out too. They mama may, probably made them marry this person thinking that they was finna have this luxurious ass life. <laughs> Did, did, I just did that, did. I ain't gonna be pitted on for real, y'all. I'm sorry. Fraudulent couple getting exposed for everything. So somebody's being exposed for the bullshit that they've been doing, the lies they've been telling, the people that they've been stealing. It's a lot of shit going on. Even the mama is realizing the truth about whoever this other person, they for sure person to marry. Look, we'll be calling, texting, DMing you so, so expected, child, yeah. Now they wanna, now they wanna talk to you. Now they want, they want you to unblock them, so they can ask you for forgiveness. Oh, child, I, I I hate it here at this point because this is always something that spirit. After they tell you all the tea, then they back door with like, but yeah, you know we did this, <laughs> we did this, we orchestrated this, we got this under control, we. Are the ones that are allowing this person to see the truth of a situation. Why? Child, I don't even want to tell y'all because y'all gonna be mad. Because my spirit guy just told me. It is because y'all get back together. I know y'all. I know. I know. That's what I just told them. I said they're not gonna believe me, spirit. They're gonna be like bullshit. Spirit said, well, they can say bullshit all they want. But that's why we letting y'all know what's going on. You know, this person going to eventually end up getting back together. For whoever that's for, so don't jump down my throat. Okay, y'all, we're going to get us some, into the tarot booth. I'll be nosy. out. look at this. Look at this. Okay, I guess that's where we're going to stop it. Yep, this is the player you were dealing with. That, that person that was a fuckboy or a fuckgirl. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. See? See? <laughs> It's them. It's them, collect. This person is trying to enter your dream. So some of y'all could be dreaming about this person. And you wake up, go to sleep, dream again. A child just can't stop dreaming about them. They in a sexless ass relationship. That marriage is over, though. And now they're trying to figure things out. White feathers. A lot of Y'all got a lot of angelic protection around y'all at this time. Y'all really do. Look, Archangel Michael is fighting for you. Okay. Look, karmic is or was not pregnant. They were only wishing. Yeah, there was a third party who had a whole family collective of people. A whole family of people fooled by what they either had, what they did for a living, that they were pregnant, something. And <clears throat> it forced this person's mother to tell your person to... Like basically, fuck the collective. You need to be with such and such and such. And your person did that shit. And for a lot of y'all, I think they thought they was probably doing the right thing. Or maybe they thought it was going to be... They thought it was going to... Child, look at this shit. <laughs> yeah, they thought wrong. I'm going to just say that much. Shit, I don't know what they thought it was going to be, but they thought wrong. You see? Wrong choice. <laughs> Mistake. <laughs> Guilt apology. Hmm. Yeah. They thought wrong. Now they want to come towards you with an offer. They regret marrying somebody. If they, especially if they married this person, but that marriage is over. <clears throat> yeah, your person going through a spiritual awakening. They see the truth. They got catfish. Look, and they want to come towards y'all, but y'all like ill. <laughs> like, uh uh, like what the fuck? Y'all so guarded against this damn person. It's like at this point, y'all would rather be single than deal with this motherfucking thing. Especially after the bullshit that they did. Because they do say they feel bad for all the wrong that they did to you. So we know they did you dirty. We know. 
Y'all see what it say. I ain't gonna even say nothing. See, read it. What it say, Kalita? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I know. I know, Kalita. I know. Y'all don't want to read. But your person is going through a transformation. They are. There's about to be a change within a situation. Look, this person was definitely a fuckboy or a fuck girl, you know, hooking up, having one night stands and shit, but that's about to change. Or it already has, I don't know. What's this? What else do you? Yeah, 15 minutes on getting some juice. I don't know. Eels. Uh, Eels. <laughs> yes, look at this shit. So there's a change about to happen or or it's already happened when it comes to a third party. What's wrong, my mom? What a mile of my mom. She's just sitting in her damn cage whining and the door wide open, y'all. She's crazy. But yeah, everything happens in divine time. So whatever was going on with whoever it was going on with, guess what? It is about to end. Get it up. <laughs> Confirmation, cause both of they ass boy. You know what? Ain't nobody finna play with y'all. Y'all better shut up. Don't be look. But that was their confirmation. Both of them had to confirm. But you hear me? She, that bitch, what? It's done. That third party shit is over. It is over because this person is going through a spiritual awakening. Yes. So then I'm gone on. I why ain't nobody in here. Stop, y'all leave her alone, please. Okay, come on. I think my, my little brother be fucking with her, I think. My little brother died when he was six. He would be, I'm gonna be 50, so he would be about to be 49. Addiction. So, your person definitely had a toxic attachment to a third party, but I feel like that's coming to an end. I came, reconciliation. Okay, you know what, y'all? How many, how long is it? 20 minutes. I don't even really have to go on with this reading because it's like the same thing, the same message coming out in different cards. And what did I say? What the fuck did I say? And I say, some of y'all gonna get back with this person. Mm -hmm. I said it. I said it. But your person had toxic ass attachments to third parties, whether it was work, love, or life. And for a lot of y'all, it was life because it was their fucking mama that was the toxic motherfucker in their life that they was dealing with. That they needed to break free from. But they didn't realize that until they start going through all this bullshit for listening to their mama. Yeah. Your person is like, damn, I shouldn't even listen to this. <laughs> Not saying they calling their mama a bitch, but you know what I'm saying? That's just how I talk. But they might be. Shit, who knows? <laughs> they might be, but yeah, this person. <clears throat> maybe they. they Cash, bless you. Child, you over there sneezing and shit. <laughs> Confirmation again, I guess. Your person may be here to get, work through these addictions. They could have, you know, been addicted to drugs, alcohol, whatever the case may be. Whatever their addictions was, especially to third parties, that is what had to change before you and this person could actually have something or be together. And they've been coming out too. And they definitely trying to manifest your ass collective. Look, I'm telling you, there's a breakup taking place. Y'all don't believe y'all person is ending something with somebody else because, you know, maybe you ain't talked to them or you ain't seen them or they ain't came towards you. But y'all have to just trust that the universe is telling y'all the truth. They telling y'all what y'all need to hear. Even if you ain't physically hearing from this person yet, because again, we'll be calling, texting, or DMing you soon. So expect it. Expect this person to reach out to you. But in divine timing, they definitely feeling guilty. If they ain't reaching out yet, it's only because of the guilt that they walk around with, Click, That's it. They feel like you're not going to forgive them. But they want your mercy and forgiveness and grace. They, they want that. They are walking away from this situation. Look, coming straight towards you. I told you. And y'all like, oh, no. Uh, mm, can I trust you? Like, y'all sign on this person like, uh, damn. I don't even know if I can trust you, though. A little toxic relationship. <laughs> yeah, this person is definitely 
leaving some type of toxic relationship for a lot of y'all. And they about, to risk, they about to risk it all. They finna take a leap of faith and come towards you. They afraid. They stressed. You know what I'm saying? They 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 scared of maybe being rejected by you, but this person has already made up their mind because of the, the judgment that they're receiving within legal matters. One last scared, one last. But yeah, this person is leaving a situation coming straight towards you. Leave me alone. Leave me the fuck alone. Okay, y'all, leave me alone. I told y'all. Y'all be thinking I'll be playing with y'all. Yeah, this is definitely your ex. They had these toxic ass attachments. That was this fuck boy, this fuck girl that was inconsistent. That constantly did what their mama told them to do. Couldn't think for their motherfucking self. So they probably did what friends told them to do. Anybody for that matter. But that was shit that was attached to this person that they had to work through. They had to see that shit for themselves. Again, Spirit said they the one who orchestrated this shit. They knew what they was doing. We just didn't know what they was doing. So we had to deal with it. And I say we because I went through the same shit y'all went through. Spirit knew whatever this person did to you, it was going to push you into a, 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 a higher realm of of you within you. You know what I'm saying? It was going it was going to turn you into this empress or this emperor. They knew that. We didn't know that. We know now, but we didn't know that then. Your person the same thing. Some of y'all were dealing with somebody who was very superficial. Very superficial because it, it been coming out in the readings. And maybe this mama thought that their son or their daughter was going to be taken care of. And they wouldn't have to work or they wouldn't have to do this. I don't know what it was. But the universe had to show this person that that's not what you really want. That's not what you really want. And they, they, it was like, yeah, that's what I want. And Spirit gave it to them. Spirit gave them what they thought they wanted. Miserable. Miserable. Can't stop thinking about you. Look at this anxiety. Can't stop thinking about you. Rick, and then the son that's playing this next lifetime, Erica Badu. Yeah, this person felt like they'll never get another chance with you. And some of y'all may have said, you know what, no. I will just try next lifetime because, bitch, I'm done this lifetime. Spirit said y'all not. No, I'm just. Okay, let me shut up. Spirit said you're not. You're not. You're not done, collective. Look, Eight of Cups. Yeah, this person is walking away. From everything and everybody. They miserable, baby. They are miserable. Still in love, Tina Marie. See what I'm saying? This person is still in love with you. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Look, walking away. So they can come towards you and have a brand new thing to offer with you. Y'all not done. I'm just saying. For whoever energy this is, because I know a lot of y'all are gonna say, oh, I'm done. I'm done, done. I'm not gonna deal with this. But you're watching the video. And it definitely ain't for me. I mean, I appreciate the lie. <laughs> I was gonna say love. My spirit guy said lie. <laughs> lie. But it is what it is. I judge no one. Everybody is grown. If you're watching me, you're supposed to be grown. You should you should know how to make a decision, you know, by trusting your intuition. This may not be your reading. Every reading is not going to be your reading. Even if some things resonate. I try to tell y'all that all the time. People really get mad that, you know, we be saying a tarot reader will say that this person is coming back. But I don't, I ain't never heard a tarot reader say, yeah, and you going to take them back. I, if when I say you gonna take them back, I pull cards and see spirit. What is, what's the collective gonna do? <laughs> and you know who you are. And and again, I ain't knocking you. If my person was to get that shit together, like and I could see it, we would be together. I ain't gonna fake the fucking phone. Not only do he know that, his wife know that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So yeah. I ain't going to pretend. But one thing I'm not going to do is be a part of no bullshit. Because I know my worth. And I know what I bring to the table. Shit. Like Beyonce shit. I am the motherfucking type of the fuck. So I'm not going to settle. But would I take my person back if I saw real change in them? Of course. 
So you can say all day long you wouldn't take them back. And for some of y'all, you wouldn't. But if that was the case, you would not even watch. My title alone let you know what we about to be talking about. Let me share this. Because I get so tired of saying it and then the same karmic people. Because I feel like if you get, if after I, a, a reader say, take what resonates and leave the rest. It's like y'all, you got to be a karmic energy. Because somebody who is in divine energy would not just get jump in the comments and start leaving mean ass shit about their person. And they swear they don't want that person. They would not do it. I'm not going to let this motherfucker back after what they did. But that's a karmic energy. That's somebody who still needs to heal because you're holding on to some resentment and some anger and some bitterness and you're trying to reflect it toward the reader and all the reader doing is reading the cards. That's it. But I mean to each his own. I give no fucks. I don't I don't know how other readers feel, but I give no fucks because I say take what resonates, be the risk. When I see shit like that, I just block that person and keep it moving because I'm, I know my soul tribe got common sense. <laughs> I don't even see some of y'all get in the comments under somebody's shit and say, well, that shit don't resonate with you. Take what resonate, leave the rest. And I'll be like, I'll read it. But, you know, you still got those people who going to pretend. Whoever you are, I said it before it even came out. You and this person was going to end up back together. And the cards are saying, you and this person going to end up back together. Three, child, quit playing with me. I don't know why I always preach to y'all. I be here for the priest to y'all. I be wanting to preach to y'all. Hey, but some of y'all be needing a little bit. <laughs> leave me alone, y'all. Just leave me alone. Leave me alone. But what do the collective need to know? Moving forward. Child. Yeah. What? <laughs> she. The plan. What do the collective need to know moving forward? Spirit. I feel like that when this person comes towards you, they coming in this emperor as energy. Shit, they not gonna be the person that they that you remember them being when they left. Shit. Oh, somebody saw a spell work though. The magician in the reverse and the four swords in the reverse. Somebody is doing spell work collective to try to 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 try to keep this person from coming towards you from from this person. For somebody trying to stop this person from healing this connection. These came out together, so that's a message in itself. Yeah, and somebody, it's like they working diligently, and they waiting to see if the the spell work gonna, gonna work. They try to stop this person from coming back to you. Oh my God, they're having a brand new passion to begin. So, of course, this could be the mother, or this could be, who is this spirit? Oh my god, okay, so three cards came out, look at this, Ace of Cups under the bottom of the deck. Who the hell is this doing this spell with? Child, I'm done. <laughs> Why the fuck is this person mama? Look, y'all, ten of, ten of motherfucking pentacles. This person fucking mama. This person own fucking mama or somebody in their family or that they got a family with. It could be the karmic uh, um, husband or wife, too. Because the ten of pentacles is a family. But I'm telling you, as soon as I sign the ten of pentacles, mama. This person own mama is trying to, is, is actually doing spell work against them. That's why spirit wanted y'all to know that y'all got a lot of angelic protection. Especially if you've been seeing white feathers. But even if you haven't been seeing white feathers, you got Archangel Michael in the spiritual realm fighting for you. Because there's a mother figure who, for some reason, just don't want this fucking person coming towards you. They trying to stop this person. They do not want this person to come toward you. Look, the wheel of fortune. Yeah, this is somebody that they receiving karma. This mother figure is backfiring and they receiving karma. Because this person is still gonna take action and come toward you. The fuck? Shit, regardless of what this mama do, it's not gonna work. All it's gonna do is backfire. That's what's gonna happen. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all person is just and then for they could be doing the spell work on this person, on this emperor, on your person. Because they can't do it to you. You protected. You too protected. <laughs> and again, this whole situation is being divinely guided. 
So even if there is a, a husband, a wife, a mother figure, boyfriend, girlfriend, baby mama, whatever the case may be, whoever the fuck this person is that they got this family with, no matter what they do, it's not going to touch you. It's not going to touch you, Kalik. <laughs> it's not. What is? What does Kalik need to know when it comes to this situation? This, this person still wanted to, ready to take action and come towards you. Queen of Cups in the reverse, baby. The third party is they crying, they say, Look, yeah, because they done got ghosted now the hermits. This person done left them. So not only do you, child, you got a karmic energy probably watching you. Yeah, your person cut them off. They cut them off, collected. And they, they coming towards you. They feel like you and them meant to be together, king and queen of wands. Look, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they want to make it right with you, Justice. Yeah. Why the Queen of Cups in the reverse? The Knight of Pentacles, yeah. The, the, that situation wasn't going nowhere. It wasn't going nowhere with this karmic. They were just supposed to learn a lesson. Look, and they learned that lesson. For, for a lot of y'all, your person went towards this person, and it was really just, it was just sex in the past. But I kind of feel like y'all could have found out that this person was sleeping with somebody else, and y'all was like, bitch... And y'all left. Y'all dipped. Uh, again, <laughs> the Empress of the Five of y'all left. Y'all wasn't finna stay around for no third party bullshit. And y'all, you know, just start healing, basically. Start pouring into yourself. Balance was restored. But again, everything was being divinely orchestrated. Once y'all healed and shit, and y'all could see through this person, it, it, it just changed the whole dynamic of whatever this other situation was. Look, so they don't go to this person. So that's the one doing no goddamn work. It wasn't meant to go nowhere. Here and now. Yeah, Luther Vandross. Child. Yeah. They said they want to hold you close through the night. Four pinnacles. I need you. This person ain't letting you go. Shit, but they holding back from this motherfucking uh, Queen of Cups in the reverse. They want this Queen of Swords. They ain't letting you go collected. They know you the truth. And they coming towards you with a motherfucking apology. <laughs> They coming with this apology. Look, I'm telling you, because they walking away from all this other bullshit, whether it's a, a mama or a lover, whatever it is. Shit, they done all, for some of y'all, they done already walked the fuck away, and they just waiting for the right time, maybe, you know, for things to turn in their favor so y'all can be together. I don't know. Because, again, like I said, y'all not done with this person. What else do you, what else do the collectors need to know when it comes to this person that's situation? <laughs> This person saying her and now, they promise to love faithfully, baby. <laughs> you all I, you're all they need. <laughs> Here and now, child. What else? What else? Look, I told you. <laughs> Six of Cups. They'll be back. Spirit said they'll be back. <laughs> you, they, they watch you. Because your love is all they need. They's not happy. They watch you and they so sad because they not happy. But and, and I feel like the reason that they sit back and watch because a lot of people like they grown, they why they don't just come toward me. One, yo, if if you not blocking them, your spirit guides is, your ancestors. So they know they gotta get their shit together. So I mean the fact that they being blocked from coming towards you, from reaching out to you, is a good sign. I mean, because the, they the one who can't take being apart from you. Some of y'all may not be able to take it, but, but whoever this message is for, they will be back. Y'all just have to trust the process. This person watch you, and they watch you in misery. But again, I don't give a damn how much they watch you and miss you. They cannot come towards you yet. Seven of them, baby. As soon as I say it, it's shit, baby. Yeah, because this person got a lot of work to do. They got to work. They got some work to do on they self. You hear me? But they will be back. Six of cups. Oh, please. If I told y'all, y'all wasn't done with this damn person. For whoever this message is for, you're not done with this person. Look, cannot make it up. There will be a new beginning. Baby, quit playing. There will be. Baby. Hmm. And this person gonna bow to be one with you. Everything happened for a reason. There will be a reconciliation to a cups. Because your love is all that they need collectively. A starting here, A, and they starting right now, <laughs> collective, cause they believe in love. They believe you now. Remember, 
I'm starting right here, right now, because I, but, <laughs> they believe you now. <laughs> Look, they stalking you on social media. On social media, I don't know how I said social, but social media, <laughs> they, they stalking you for now. See, this person is like, I'm proud to do you right, I promise you. You all they need. <laughs> and they gonna take this leap of faith when you least expect it. What's going on with this person? What's going on with them? Chad, it came out, y'all. Social media fucking stop. They stalking you on social media. And they, you know, they making choices for their life. Or they know that they have to. The ball is in someone's court. Time to be decisive. They know it's now and never. What's going on with this person? But they always on your socials. They keep tabs on you. They do your updates. They do your, your stories, your reels, all that shit. And they could be doing it from fake accounts. You could say you got this person blocked, but that don't mean they still can't see something. Shit. They gonna find a way. They gonna ask people. They gonna go on their home. If y'all mutual friends with people, they gonna be cool with that person. <laughs> they gonna be cool with that person, child, so they can watch you from that person page. What is, what's going on with this person? <laughs> but they stalking you for the most part. All they do is watch you, because they shit is coming out. All they do is watch you. Look, yep, they ain't letting you go. Clingy, they ain't letting you go. Someone that cannot let you go. Mm. And some of y'all, this person was dealing with somebody who couldn't let them go. Look, controlling. Someone thinks they can control you, the situation, or the people in general. Well, I guess they, and they fake flex. And so some of y'all dealing with somebody who thinking they can get you to take them back by them fake flex and pretending to have more than what they actually do, but they don't. But they don't, look. And, and it didn't work. They've been doing that shit, but it ain't been working. And now they be mad about it. They mad about it because y'all don't unbiased that that shit was not in prison. They're going to have to come better than that. Look, I cannot make it up. Y'all ain't trying to hear that shit. <laughs> Y'all ain't trying to hear that shit. Like, bitch, you're going to have to become better than that. You're going to have to be quicker than that. I ain't, you, what? But, again, you all this person think about the hangman. Look, nine of cups, you are this person's wish for feel me. There's going to be a reconciliation between you and this person. Because, see, y'all rich for real. I mean, whether it's in spirit, or in love, in finances, whatever the case may be. Y'all y'all physical and mental transformation for, was for the better. And baby, this person see it. This not only do this person see it, the karmic see it, this mama see it, they all see it. And and this mama, man, we're gonna still see why this mama don't like you. Look, ghosted. Cannot make it up. I'm telling you. This person once this person could have ghosted y'all for somebody that was clingy and y'all glowed up on their ass. And now they feeling stupid. Now they feeling stupid. Child, yeah, they chose lust over fucking happiness. Ooh, this person chose lust over happiness, and now they hated her. But that's what you did. Now, let's see why this mama don't like you. Why don't this mama? Why don't this mama like the collective? Why don't this? What's the truth? Because I'm already talking to the guys. Why don't this mama like the collective? Why don't this mama <coughs> like the collective spirit? What's the truth? You got me saying, my, 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 why don't this mother or this maternal figure or whoever this is in this person's life, why don't they like the collect? Five of Pentacles, because cause they feel like you left whoever this person was at. I have a cold child. The star child. They jealous of you. Nine of Pentacles, baby, they jealous of you, collective. This person feel like this mother figure feel like you, you, you think you look too good. You think you don't need no motherfucking body because you got this Nine of Pentacles ass energy. They are literally jealous of you. Period, pool. That's it. 
And I don't even feel like y'all gave that type of energy to this mother figure. But this is what they thought. Look, yeah, so they, they started doing magic to try to, I guess, break your confidence. Seven of Swords. Yeah, they started doing magic secretly. I cannot make it up. <laughs> King of Swords to try to fuck with your mind, y'all was this what they this mother figure was intimidated by your intelligence. You hear me, child? And they started doing magic on you to try to stop it out of jealousy. But some of y'all, they they knew you was gonna end up leaving this person, they son or they daughter, and they they didn't like that shit. Whoever this 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 is a very narcissistic ass mother figure. Very narcissistic ass mother figure. They knew what they son or their daughter was out there doing. Shit. They knew you you was they already knew that you was somebody who didn't deserve that type of treatment, but because they that was their son or their daughter, you should have went along with the program. And I feel like y'all was like, bitch, I don't need this person. I'm good on my own. The star and the nine of baby. The world and the moon. Child, I cannot make this shit up. This mother figure was just fucking jealous. They were jealous collective. Because they saw you having some type of new beginning after le learning some type of uh, lesson in your life. Maybe you had been through some things and or some things with this person. And once you learned all the lessons you needed to learn, you dipped on the edge. You learned your lesson. You closed out that cycle. This mother figure hated that. This mother figure also know that you can, you, you very intuitive. Like... I feel like this person's child would have conversations with them like, I don't know how the, the collective would know, you know, what I did or what, what happened. And this mother figure was like, they were shocked as well because they had, they was already doing spell work to try to fuck with your mind. But it wasn't working and it's because you were highly protected. Look, the four cups. Why can't I make it up, child? They hate that you rejected their child, period. But they already they already didn't hate the uh, collective though no spirit. Look, three of swords. They already didn't why did they like the they didn't like you initially because of basically because of your shine. Your light irritated they fucking demon because you was a star. When they met you, you were in this star energy, nine of pentacles energy already. Even if y'all wasn't on the financial level that you own now, when they, you know, you was always self-sufficient and independent. You know what I'm saying? That's all that matter. And they were jealous of that because maybe they was three or swords. Baby, I cannot make it up. This mother figure was just really jealous of y'all collected from the jump. From jump. Mainly because you would not allow their son or their daughter to fuck over you. A lot of y'all... Y'all made a decision to close out a cycle with somebody because they kept putting you in motherfucking me third party situations. And you was watching. You was the one feeling left out in the motherfucking cold. You was the one watching on the motherfucking sidelines getting hurt being in the three of swords ass energy. But the mother figure, I guess, wanted you to go along with that. Child. And you didn't. <laughs> and you didn't. She was like, fuck you and your motherfucking mama. Ain't this family. I'm done. And that's why they don't like you, but it ain't gonna stop nothing. So they could have lied. They could have said A, B, C, and D. They could have made this person choose this other person, but they getting karma. Your person is struggling. They getting karma. They stalking you, and they want you back. It's not over. This person has got to risk it all to, to get you back. They is. They about to... They about to risk it all, child. This person wants you back. And everybody talking about this shit. Everybody talking about it. <laughs> yeah. Child. Well, what are the closing messages? Because I'm not going to hold y'all. Look at this shit. I'll be trying not to talk this long. I'll be swearing to myself I'm going to do a short video. But y'all know I get nosy and shit. Mm. What are the closing messages? What should the collective know when it comes to the situation and what's going on? Entertaining other options, unrequited gold. Oh, your person entered into a situation with somebody who was really just in it for the money <laughs> and they sleep around too. 
Yeah. They sleep around too. And because of your person's trust issues, they chose this other option trying to make you jealous. But now they obsessed with you. <laughs> it didn't work. Yeah. Because this was always true love. You and this person, it was always true, true love between y'all. But they was too busy. Oh my God, collective. They were too busy listening to these family and these friends make their decisions. For they was child, they, they just were stupid. That's what they get. That's what the fuck they get. So y'all spirit guys, it's like, just know that this person is definitely getting karma right now. That's why y'all ain't together. And that's what they supposed to be getting because they shouldn't have been listening to all these other motherfucking people. Shoot, look, I'm still a snake. I haven't changed. Jeez, so some of y'all, that's why it's being blocked. So this person got a lot of shit that they got to work through. Some of y'all, they all working through that. Because the first part that came out was uh, changed. It's just, you know, this is what's happening behind the scenes with your person. <laughs> yeah. They sabotage the connection. They the one who self-sabotaged. They did that. You didn't do it. Shit. Look. And now they wearing a mask. They trying to hide how they truly feel. Past life collection. And lust, passion, deep physical or sexual attraction desire. I feel like for a lot of y'all, this is something that could have happened in the past life. And this was the karma. This was the debt that had to be paid. And I feel like your person is paying it. Look, yeah, because baby, can't nobody beat you collected. Nobody's better than you. Nobody was ever better than you in none of the lifetimes. But this person always chose, I feel like, somebody else over you. But this lifetime, maybe they, they realize that you the motherfucking go and don't nobody compare to you. The grass was not fucking greener. It was not fucking greener. And, you know, they have to suffer the consequences of thinking that the grass would have been greener because they was listening to their motherfucking mama. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but they ain't happy. This person is missing the hell out of you in regret, feeling guilty because all, they, they, they want you. And they ready to risk it all. They will be contacting you soon. So expect it, okay, Kalisti? And again, take it if it don't. I mean, take it if it's yours. Leave it if it don't. It's a general reading, you guys. General, okay? I'm going to end it right there. I hope you guys enjoyed the reading.